Why do you need two camera bodies? In this case, two Fujifilm camera bodies. Can't you have just one camera body to do it all? Let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel, Tudor Matescu here. In this video, I want to address for my long time experience, why I've concluded that indifferently of what system I would use, I really need two camera bodies at least to have the experience fulfilled depending on situation and on situation. Recently I've made a video where I've treated the crop factor and I've talked about uh, cameras with big resolution sensors but also about cameras with smaller resolution sensors. And I've concluded in that video that a camera with a bigger resolution sensor can't always replace a camera with a smaller resolution sensor. And this is my vast experience in different systems, in Fujifilm system, in Sony full frame and APS-C system, but also in the Micro Four Thirds system. Even if in the Micro Four system, I don't have a camera with a bigger resolution sensor, I still need two bodies. And I want to address, even if you start photography just now, and uh, even if you started photography two, three years ago, why you need to think about having two bodies and not try to find a camera body that will deliver in all situations. So this is my idea, a camera body, even if we want just one camera body, it will not deliver in all situations. And I will tell you immediately why is that. If you are in content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel, hit that like and subscribe button and thank you a lot for this. In these examples, in today's examples, and it's just an example, we have two camera bodies here. We have Fujifilm X-T5 and Fujifilm X-T30 Mark II. I must tell you that Fujifilm X-T30 Mark II, it really helped me get the most out of Fujifilm X-T5. Till I didn't bought X-T30 Mark II, I wasn't satisfied completely with Fujifilm X-T5. Why is this? Because Fujifilm X-T5 has a weight to it, a size to it, and it's a bigger camera than X-T30. I'm liking small compact cameras and I want to shoot different lenses on those cameras. So my journey, it's complicated in the Fujifilm system. I had X-C4, I had X-100V, but the X-100, it's a series without interchangeable lenses. I'm also having X-Pro3, but X-Pro3, it's a dedicated specialized camera. So in the end, I've arrived to the XT lineup and I feel that the XT lineup is the best all around lineup. So in this lineup, we have now the latest XT5, XT4 with a flip screen that I don't like, XT3 and so on. And in the XT30 lineup, we have XT20, XT10 and so on. So XT30 Mark II is completing XT5 extraordinary, extraordinary well. Why is this? Because from time to time, I don't want to carry much weight on me. It depends on situation and on life. Life is happening. I don't have time to carry with me all day long a Fujifilm X-T5 camera with 18 mm f1.4 lens. So when I want to pair X-T5 with the 18 mm f1.4 lens and with the kit zoom that it came, the 60 to 80 mm f4, I didn't like that package at all. It was big and cumbersome. I even sold the zoom. One of the reasons it was that it was a big zoom and I didn't like the AF and the image quality and especially I didn't like what I was getting on X-T5. But when I've bought X-T30, all this changed a lot. Now I have the option. Now I have the peace of mind. When I want a small capable camera, I can pair X-T30 Mark II with 18mm f1.4. I can pair it with that zoom that I've sold it and I can pair it with bigger lenses from Fujifilm. Yes, I will not have the 40 megapixel resolution and I will not have the latest AF, but the AF it's sufficient, the resolution it's sufficient and it will do the job great. And this is not all. This helped me how I said I have the option. The main idea here is that I have the option. When I want a smaller package, I will pair 18mm f1.4 with XT30. But I also have the option when I don't want a smaller package, I will 
pair 80 mm f1.4 with xt5 so i'm not forced i'm not constrained by the camera body weight size resolution to go with just one package so the main idea is that you have more options using two bodies this is the main idea you have more options regarding weight size af resolution probably you don't want every time the 40 megapixel resolution for family pictures why would you bother to have so bigger files on your computer just take xt30 it is more convenient for family photography and yes xt30 is more convenient for family photography so using two bodies i have lots of options if i want to use these two bodies in an event photography i can do it if i want to use these two bodies for street photography i can do it if i want to use xt5 or xt30 for family photography depending on the lens that I want to use it and not to feel constrained about size and weight I can do it so this is a huge huge help xt5 can deliver it all so why this is happening in all camera systems why you can't live with just one body it's a camera conspiracy yes it's a camera conspiracy or better said it's a marketing strategy it's a marketing strategy you have a big 80 mm f 1.4 lens here that has some weight to it good af and so on but also you have 18 mm f 2 lens from the fuji film a smaller lens and it's not such a great lens like this lens but when you want to go small you buy the 18 mm f2 when you want better image quality you take the 80 mm f 1.4 so the marketing strategy is that they will not make the camera companies will not make an all-around size camera and lens because not making this is not about physics how the camera geeks will tell you no it's about marketing they will make many sales so you are forced in buying at least two camera bodies to have all the options that you need next you'll be forced to buy multiple 18 millimeter lenses to have all the options that you want from a 28 equivalent lens in the fujifilm system you can't have one lens to rule them all because it's not made like this there is one body that it could have been like this in the fujifilm system and i'm not the only one that is saying that this body it is fujifilm x pro 3 i've made a video i hope i will publish it before publishing this video i don't know but i am treating the size and ergonomics of the x pro 3 body if fujifilm will make an x pro 4 body regarding size weight similar to x pro 3 this will be your all around camera with a tilting screen with a normal tilt screen this can be an all around camera use it in every situation because you don't have a normal tilt screen like on xt5 and like on xt30 so they didn't do it why they didn't do it because it's not a mistake it's not science it's not physics it's marketing they want to sell you more camera bodies and more lenses so they will earn more it's simple marketing technique they are selling incomplete products the camera body and the camera lens will not fulfill all your needs even if they can do this they can really do it they could have launched a small f1.8 18 millimeters with great resolution with medium sized and you will be okay with just one lens this thing is happening on just one system from my experience and this one system it is the leica system i will not enter in too much details in the leica system i just want to address that if you want one lens to rule them all a great lens and a great camera body leica m system is for you there you can buy one body that has a good way to it for stability a good size to it and the lenses are great are totally totally great so yes you pay one lens that costs probably three lenses in the fujifilm system depending on what lens do you choose but being a full frame lens you'll be okay the image quality it's totally totally great and you don't have problems with the af because it's a manual focusing system so one camera body and one camera lens will cover you in the leica m system you don't need to change bodies and lenses in a leica m system this is what i'm feeling in this moment of course leica wants to do this too and has the leica md and leica monochrome options and all other options but it's not like on consumer 
cameras like Fujifilm cameras, like Nikon cameras, like Sony cameras. No, there is another philosophy, a totally another philosophy. But getting back to why you need two camera bodies in the Fujifilm system and in general in any other system except Leica M system. The next reason is that you probably want to use different features. So let's say you have XS20. That camera is great for videography and it has a flip screen. But probably from time to time you want to use a normal tilt screen. This is also happening on the Sony system. On the Sony system you have Sony 7 c but I don't want always to use the flip screen. It's very cumbersome for street photography and depending on the focal lens, on the lens that you are using. So I don't want to do this. When I had Sony 7 r 3 a I had the option of a tilt screen and also I had the option of resolution. So I've sold unfortunately my Sony 7 r 3 and I'm regretting it now because now after one year, after discovering different problems with Sony 7 c I'm feeling that it was great to have also a second Sony body that didn't have the flip screen and different problems that I don't like on Sony 7 c So this is also true in the Fujifilm system. If you have X-T4, you have there a flip screen. Probably you don't always want to use a flip screen if you are like me. If you want to do street photography, probably you want a flip screen when you are doing videography. So two camera bodies will complete each other's. The only camera that has a flip screen and a tilt screen in the same time, it is Sony R5. So again, yes, a great camera, but it has a price to it and it has a weight to it. So you will not always want to take that camera body and weight and price in your camera bag for everyday shooting. Probably you want to use a smaller camera like Sony A7C if you want full frame or like Sony A6400 if you want a smaller camera with a great silent mechanical shutter. So camera bodies in the same system are completing each other and you will not find in any other system a camera body that will deliver all that you want in that system. The next reason is that if you are a prime shooter, so you are shooting just prime lenses, of course you will need two camera bodies because it's very cumbersome to change lenses and a zoom lens, especially on an APS-C body, an f2.8 zoom, it's not not a solution from my point of view. So if you want to use prime lenses, especially f1.4 prime lenses on your Fujifilm system and on Sony system and on Nikon system, you really need to have two camera bodies because it's very cumbersome to change lots of lenses on one camera body depending again on what you are doing. So if you are an even photographer, a wedding photographer, you really need to use two camera bodies. This is the only solution to get the most out of any system, any camera system, and not just Fujifilm. So in conclusion, don't make the mistake to believe that you can find one camera body to cover all the needs that you have, being size, weight, AF, resolution, tilt screens, flip screens, and videography needs. I can't use X-T30 Mark II for videography. I can't use it, it will for sure overheat. I had X-T4 and it was overheating very, very bad. But X-T5, it's great for this. So there isn't one camera body to rule them all. There is no such solution. So for not losing money on the long term, you really must start investing in your camera system with this in mind. I need two camera bodies to have a full system, a full operating system for all the photography and videography needs that I may have. If you don't have those photography and videography needs like I have and you are just shooting for family photography or for street photography or for a specialized branch in photography or videography, of course there is another discussion. But for an all-around system that will cover all these styles and all these needs, if you are a content creator or if you just like to shoot videos, pictures and so on or if you are a wedding photographer, you need at least at least two camera bodies. So this is why I do recommend start with this in mind when you are making an investment. Buy a capable big camera with bigger resolution with great AF and a smaller camera that will accompany the bigger camera. With these two camera bodies, you'll be able to create all the combinations that you need for video, for photography and so on. So this is why I do recommend in any system 
try to get two camera bodies to be covered. There will be no one camera to rule them all. This is my experience and I'm really regretting that I didn't have this experience till now because I would have not made the mistake to sell my Sony 7 R 3A camera. Now I'm feeling that Sony 7C is missing a second body from Sony and especially a second body with a tilt screen and with a bigger resolution. So if you are liking videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, give it a like, leave me your comments, check my affiliate links if you want to buy something from Amazon, subscribe to my newsletter for more tips and tricks and go now to the next video. This is helping the algorithm a lot. Thank you and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.